Hello YouTube and welcome. Thank you for joining me for another video. Now in this clip that I'm showing you here, this gentleman in the blue flannel is doing something that we all do. He's paying bills. And in his budget, just like in any expense report, you have to work in entertainment. And as we continue to be more dependent on streaming, I'm going to show you guys how you can put money back into your pocket with your Roku device or your Fire Stick and uh, see the long run benefits of it. Now, first thing you want to do is once you've got your streaming platform, whether it's the Roku or whether it's going to be the Fire Stick, before this video, I'll just say Roku, okay? Once you've got your Roku, first thing you want to do is cut that cable bill. Now, cutting the cable bill, I don't mean cancel it at all. You want to contact your provider and see if they have an option where it's internet only. Now, if you were like me, I had internet and a cable package. Now, most of the carriers, most of the larger ones specifically, have an internet only package. Now, the internet only package is going to be roughly half, if not more off of what the basic cable package would cost you. So if you have an option where you can get the internet only, go for it with no add-ons. None of their TV streaming platforms or anything that they offer for streaming. Now, for example, uh, Xfinity has a internet only plan and they try to upsell you to get the streaming platform that they have, uh, Xtreme or Xtreme by Xfinity. And it gives you a lot of things that you don't have to get from them basically put just get the internet okay second thing you want to do is invest in an antenna now the one that I've got shown here on screen uh, you can see it cost 11 bucks at Walmart you don't have to get it from Walmart you can get it from anywhere you may even have an HD TV antenna now what this is going to do is going to let you pick up the over-the-air signals that are locally available to you that's going to give you your CBS, your ABCs, your Foxes, your regional channels, your local channels. That's going to be the most efficient way to get those channels is with this HD antenna. Now, if you are using a Roku TV, every Roku TV has the integrated where they have a live streaming feature within the Roku app. So you would open up the Roku and you would see a icon for live TV with the antenna plugged in. You're going to pull those live TV channels right into your Roku interface and be able to watch your, your local channels right off your antenna through your Roku device. It's pretty awesome. I use it. I've got an antenna similar to this. And when I want to watch my local news and I don't want to go through their app or whatever, I can do it with this antenna just by on my Roku TV going to it. Now, if you're not using a Roku television, you're just using a Roku stick or Roku device of some sort, then I still would say invest in this antenna because your television has an input switch where you can change where you're getting your source from. So you would change your source from your Roku over to the antenna and boom, there are your local channels there. So when you want to stream, you switch back over. When you want to watch your local, you switch back over. All right. And the next way you can really save on your budget with streaming is going to be get one, one paid streaming platform. That way you're not missing out on anything because with so many different options out there, I mean, you've got your, your Netflixes, you've got your HBO Maxes, you've got so many different options to stream from. The one that I suggest is going to be Disney Plus. Because you get Disney Plus, ESPN Plus, and Hulu all within one package that's right now, as of the recording of this video, $12.99. That's cheaper than Netflix by itself. So I highly suggest that if you do, and you do, I, I do suggest that you get one paid platform so that you can get the premium content. And with this, you're getting, of course, all of Hulu, all of Disney Plus, and all of ESPN Plus. So you're getting your sports, you're getting your um, everything from Disney, everything from Pixar, everything from Marvel, everything from Star Wars, everything from National Geographic, 
ABC, all the companies that Disney owns, you're getting all of that content in one spot for 12 bucks a month. So you've cut your cable bill in half by contacting your provider and letting them know, hey, look, I just want the internet only. That's it. You've done that. You've got the antenna so that you can get your local channels the easiest, most efficient way possible, the simplest way. And you've got your paid premium platform, your Disney Plus. And it gives you three apps and the the library that Disney has and the new content that they put out, the series, everything, you get all of that for $12.99 plus whatever you're paying for your internet option only plan through your provider. And if you did that and you took that first monthly expense that you paid for your entertainment at home, which would be your internet only and your one premium streaming platform, I suggest Disney Plus with Hulu and ESPN. But if you choose something different, that's on you. Just add those two up and then look at that last bill that you got when you did have the internet plus the cable package. You're going to be looking at at least 50% reduction in what your monthly cost would be to watch television. And as the world has changed and our expenses aren't going out to the movie theaters, aren't going out to... Uh, drive-ins, aren't going out and socializing as much. We're at home more. And that's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. We could talk about that in another video. But we are at home more. And at home more, you still have the human necessity of entertainment. So if you can get the entertainment that you desire, I don't care if it's sports, movies, your local TV, or just finding some cool app to watch something that you, you know, you, you find interesting. You can do it and save big bucks and put that money back into your pocket. Well, that's been it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. Make sure you subscribe, comment, and share this video. And I'll see you guys soon in the next one.